The progress on creating a super-intelligent artificial intelligence has hugely accelerated these past few years. But just now, Google's DeepMind has, again, outdone themselves and their competition by creating a new kind of algorithm on which future artificial intelligences will likely be based on and thrive upon. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you what DeepMind has accomplished, how they accomplished it, and what this new invention will mean for the future of the emerging field of general artificial intelligence. The creation of the Transformer at Google in 2017 is perhaps one of the most important events that has brought AI to the public's notice in recent years. Many language algorithms, like as Google's BERT and OpenAI's GPT-3, have been able to create very human-looking phrases as a result of the Transformer, giving the appearance that computers can write like people. Now, experts at Google-owned DeepMind in the United Kingdom seek to expand the Transformer's capabilities beyond text, allowing it to transform other media like as photos, audio, and video, as well as geographical data captured by a car using litter. The Perceiver, which DeepMind released this week in a paper on Archive, modifies the Transformer with a few changes to allow it to ingest all those forms of input and execute on the many tasks, such as picture identification, for which discrete types of neural networks are typically built. The DeepMind is a stop on the path to an envisioned supermodel of deep learning, a neural network that could accomplish any task that a person could, and learn quicker and with less data, a great challenge for the field, according to Google's chief of AI. The paper, which was called, Perceiver, General Perception with Iterative Attention, will be presented at the International Conference on Machine Learning, which will begin on July 18 and will be hosted virtually this year. Perceiver follows a trend toward generality that has been underway for some years, implying that AI programs are becoming less and less task-specific. Most natural language systems were built before transformers with an understanding of the specific language function, like as question answering or language translation. Transformer obliterated these differences, resulting in a single program capable of handling a wide range of tasks by providing an adequate representation of language. Perceiver also casts doubt on the notion that different types of data, such as sound or picture, need distinct neural network designs. Perceiver, on the other hand, suggests something more fundamental. Google defined one potential path of deep learning in their keynote speech at the International Solid State Circuits Conference, an annual technical symposium held in San Francisco, as the objective of being able to train a model that can do thousands or millions of tasks in a single model. In the realm of artificial intelligence and computer systems engineering, creating a single machine learning system that can manage millions of tasks is a truly great problem. Perceiver is a multitasking app in the same vein. It accepts three types of data, pictures, videos, and point clouds, which are a collection of dots that depict what a litter sensor mounted on the roof of a car sees of the road. Once trained, the system can perform well on benchmark tests such as the classic ImageNet image recognition test, Audio Set, a Google-developed test that requires a neural net to pick out different types of audio clips from a video, and ModelNet, a Princeton-developed test that requires a neural net to correctly identify an object using 2,000 points in space. The first step is to decrease the quantity of data that the transformer must directly process. While huge transformer neural networks have been fed terabytes of text data, the quantity of data in pictures, video, and audio recordings, or point clouds, may be far larger. Consider each pixel in an ImageNet picture of 244 by 244 pixels. A second of audio at normal sampling rates translates to roughly 50,000 raw audio samples in the case of a sound file. As a result, Yeagle and his colleagues set out to find a solution to minimize the dimensionality of certain data kinds. They take inspiration from Yuho Lee and his Oxford University colleagues, who created the Set Transformer. The Set Transformer decreased the amount of processing required for a transformer by producing a second version of each data sample, which they referred to as inducing points. Consider it a form of data compression. This is adapted as a learned latent array, in which the sample data is reduced down to a summary that is considerably less data hungry. The perceiver operates in an asymmetric manner with some of its skills focused on studying the raw data, while others simply look at the summary or compressed form. This cuts down on overall time spent. 
The second approach, which is more of a hack, is to offer the model some hints about the data structure. The difficulty with a transformer is that it has no understanding of an image's spatial components or the duration of an audio clip. A transformer is always permutation invariant, which means that it is unaffected by the specifics of the structure of the data. This is a possible issue inherent in the perceiver's generality. For example, neural networks developed for pictures have some understanding of the structure of a 2D image. A traditional convolutional neural network analyzes pixels in a portion of an image as groups, which is known as locality. Transformers and their descendants, such as perceiver, are not constructed in this manner. There are a number of difficulties with Perceiver that make it unlikely to be the perfect million-task supermodel that Dean has envisaged. One is that the program does not always perform as well as programs designed specifically for a given modality. It still doesn't work with some models. On AudioSet, for example, the Perceiver fell short of a software released last year that fuses audio and video information. It falls far short of a 2017 neural network designed specifically for point clouds when it comes to point clouds. On ImageNet, the trick of having Fourier characteristics that tag the structure of pictures obviously aided the perceiver. The scientists found that a version of the perceiver without the Fourier characteristics, dubbed, learned position, performed poorly compared to RESNET 50 and VIT. On a more philosophical side, it's intriguing to speculate whether Perceiver will lead to new multimodal talents. Perceiver does not appear to have any synergy between the multiple modalities, thus image, sound, and point clouds all exist separately. This is almost certainly due to the duties. All of the problems in the evaluation were created with single neural networks in mind. Despite these drawbacks, it's essential to remember that Perceiver might only be a first step toward what the least eye scientist refers to as artificial general intelligence. The thing that makes DeepMind unique is that DeepMind is absolutely focused on creating digital superintelligence, an AI that is vastly smarter than any human on Earth, and ultimately smarter than all humans on Earth combined. I mean, the DeepMind system can win at any game can already beat all the original Atari games. It is superhuman. It plays the games at super speed in less than a minute. So what is your opinion on this new approach to artificial intelligence? Do you believe that it will become the de facto model for future AI projects, just like Transformers did a few years ago? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.